To start our presentations, would you please welcome the official party up on stage, the Chair of Basketball Australia, Mr Scott Derwin. The Managing Director of Menorah Foods, Sam Shackner. And the Minister for Sport and Recreation, the Honourable Hugh Delahunty. And joining them on stage to present the MVP award today, WNBL legend, Rachel Spawn. To start us off, it's now my delight to welcome to the microphone the Chair of Basketball Australia, Mr Scott Derwin. Scott. Uh, thanks very much, Stephanie. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful game and what a wonderful uh, two teams we have. I mean, it's easy to say, but it's a shame sometimes there has to be a winner and a loser. The Townsville Fire, what a magnificent game. Sorry once again that you've made the grand final but just fallen a bit short. But of course, to the Bendigo Spirit team, to Bernie and Christy and team, another wonderful effort. But I think more importantly, a demonstration for women's basketball in Australia, which is second to none. An outstanding bunch of athletes. This season, once again, we've seen more people watching the WNBL, both at games and with our 30-year-old partner in the ABC, a tremendous effort. Um, this year also, of course, we welcome as part of the basketball family, uh, Wattle Valley as a naming rights sponsor of uh, the WNBL and what a wonderful achievement that has been. It would also be remiss of me not to acknowledge the ongoing support of our many sponsors across the country and particularly to the Australian Sports Commission who invests a lot of money in basketball. But today, once again, a tremendous occasion, an opportunity to see the best of the best and see a great win. Bendigo Spirit, of course, in back-to-back -back championships now in the Waddle Valley WNBL. And finally, of course, to the Townsville Fire, we expect to see them there once again next year. It's a difficult time for them, for any team that's made two grand finals and to lose both, but we, we feel for them, but we know they've been a tremendous group of players, a great ambassador for women's basketball in Australia. And to one and all, particularly to the wonderful crowd here tonight, um, thank you for all of your support on behalf of the Wattle Value WNBL. Scott and here, here, what a wonderful display for women's basketball in this country. Who wouldn't want to be amongst this? Please now welcome to the microphone the Managing Director of Menorah Foods, Mr Sam Shackner. Menorah Foods was extremely proud to announce this season the naming rights sponsorship of the Waddle Valley WNBL. The partnership between our Menorah-owned brand Waddle Valley and the WNBL presents exciting opportunities for growth and national promotion of two iconic Australian brands. We are committed to support the growth of women's sport in Australia. From developing players at a young age right through to becoming elite athletes and representing our country on the global arena. There is no better example of this development of female athletes and leaders than the Waddle Valley WNBL which is Australia's longest running elite female national competition and has produced some of the biggest stars in female sport. Well done to Basketball Australia for organising this outstanding event today. The Waddle Valley WNBL Grand Final is a showpiece event of the season bringing together the best teams in the competition after more than 100 games over the last five months. To have two regional teams based from either end of Australia compete today is a testament to the standard of the league and its truly national presence. What an incredible grand final we all witnessed today. We congratulate the 2013-14 Waddle Valley WNBL champions, the Bendigo Spirit. To return, to return for an epic rematch of last year's grand final and claim a back-to-back -back championship title is a truly historic result for the team. 
We commend the Townsville Five for returning to the grand final and for their outstanding efforts today. Also, a special acknowledgement to Townsville Fire Captain Rachel McCulley for celebrating 300 games of the match today. And, she's, and to Susie Bakovich for taking out the Waddle Valley WNBL MVP award this season and becoming the first player and becoming the first player in the history of the league to do so in three consecutive years. We look forward to continuing to partner with the Waddle Valley WNBL over the coming seasons to ensure the ongoing growth and promotion of women's basketball in Australia. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sam. I'd now like to call on the Chair of Basketball Australia, Scott Derwin, to present the trophies to the 2013-2014 Wattle Valley WNBL Grand Final Match Referees. And would you please welcome to the stage, Damien Lyons. Scott Brown. And Jason Kelly. And now it's my pleasure to ask the Minister for Sport and Recreation, the Honourable Hugh Delahunty, to present trophies to the 2013-2014 Wattle Valley WML Grand Final runners-up. And I would like to ask first, please, the captain of the Townsville Fire. 300 games today. She would have loved to celebrate that with a win. Townsville Fire has brought some wonderful staunch spectators down, not just once, but twice in two weeks. And it's a wonderful team led by a wonderful lady, Rachel McCulley. Oh, it's a bit high. Um, first and foremost, congratulations, Bendigo. You've you, play, you played absolutely fantastic today. I think um, we're all going to have nightmares about Kelsey Griffin. Um, she's an absolute. An absolute superstar, but um, yeah, full credit goes to you guys. You were the pinnacle team all year and you really deserve it. Congratulations. Um, secondly, to, to everyone in the Townsville group, from coaches to medical staff to m the most important people, my teammates, um, we came back, we thought that we had a real shot at it and we, we, get, we absolutely threw everything at them and unfortunately we come up short again, so um, girls, it's a hell of a ride, but um, who knows, next year again, maybe. Third time lucky. <laughs> Finally, to, to the WNBL, to all the sponsors and everyone who supports this fantastic league, um, to, to play my 300th today is an absolute dream come true. Unfortunately, we didn't get the result. Um, sorry, and really finally to, to all the Townsville supporters, the, not only the ones that came today, but everyone back home that is supporting us today. So thanks very much. Thank you and congratulations, Rachel. I'd now like to call on your teammates to join you in receiving their trophies. Would you please come up as your number and name is called number four, Alex Wilson. Number six, Tiana Mangakahia. Number seven, Steph Cumming. Number eight, Susie Batkovich. Number 10, Mia Newley. Number 12, Kayla Standish. Number 13, Rosie Fadlevich. Number 15, Olivia Thompson. 
Number 32, Michaela Cox. And number 45, Emma McKenzie. To also receive their trophies, please welcome the Townsville Fire coaching staff, head coach Chris Lucas. Assistant coach Claudia Brassard. Assistant coach Mark Alabakov. And team manager Donna Turner. Ladies and gents, please another big round of applause for the WNBL runners up for 2013 2014 Townsville Fire. Thank you, ladies. colleague Rachel Spawn who will present the newly named Rachel Spawn WNBL Grand Final MVP medal to this game's MVP and ladies and gentlemen the winner of the MVP for 2013-2014 Grand Final is Kelsey Griffin. <laughs> First of all, Townsville, they played a great game. Um, you know, that third quarter had me scared. Um, their, their season, the way they played all year, obviously they gave us a great for, run for our money all year, and so you guys played great. Um, to the fans, thank you so much for coming out and supporting us. You guys were the X Factor. To not only have a home grand final, but for everyone to come out like you did, cheer us on, and really, we could feel you on the court. That was huge, that was a huge lift. Thank you so much. Um, I want to thank my teammates, everybody. Obviously, this award, I couldn't have gotten it without you guys, so thank you so much. Thank you and congratulations, Kelsey Griffin of the Bendigo Spirit. Well, now the Managing Director of Menorah Foods, Mr. Sam Schachner, will present our champions with their pendants. So please come up to the stage, ladies, as I call your number and your name. Firstly, from the Bendigo Spirit, number four, Tessa Levy. Number six, Chantella Pereira. Number seven, Heather Oliver. Number nine, Madeline Garrett. Number 10, Captain Christy Harrower. Number 14, Chelsea Aubrey. Number 15, Sarah Blitzers. Number 20, Gabrielle Richards. Number 22, Kelly Wilson. Number 23, an MVP for this match, Kelsey Griffin. And number 24, Jane Chalmers. Please welcome the Bendigo Spirit coaching staff to the stage, head coach Bernie Harris.
And it's now my delight to invite the infamous Harrowers up to the stage. Please welcome coach and captain Bernie Harrower and Christy Harrower up to the microphone. If we could have a word from you first, and uh, I've been told that uh, you are, and I'm running a clock on you, but the stage is yours. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I wasn't going to make it long this year. Um, firstly, just congratulations to Townsville. You've had an unbelievable year. Um, once again, your uh, community should be proud of what you guys have done. Um, I'm not sure what Rachel McCulley's going to do, but she's had an unbelievable career, and um, I wish her all the best in her decision. And um, to our supporters, um, unbelievable. You guys were huge today for us. Um, I think it's the loudest that it's ever been in here, but thank you. Um, just, I also want to quickly thank uh, the WNBL sponsors. Um, Waddle Valley, thank you for jumping on board. It's an unbelievable league, um, and it's, uh, you know, you see some great players here in Australia, and, and glad that a lot of them have come back to play. Um, to Pete, to Spalding, to Virgin, I definitely want to give a big shout out to the Virgin Lounge. Um, the Spirit Girls love it. <laughs> um, to our sponsors, um, the Bendigo Bank, our naming rights sponsor, thank you very much for jumping on board again. Um, our major sponsors, if I can remember them all, um, MyJet, uh, Telstra Business Centre, Latrobe, uh, Wild Plumbing, um, Villawood. Um, thank you very much for jumping on board this year and being a part of such a successful program now. Um, to our girls, unbelievable. We've had a huge year and um, to go back to back is so special. And um, you know, I haven't made a decision yet, but if this is my last game, I'm glad I got to play it with you girls and win another championship, so thank you. Uh, uh, I'd just like to thank a few people as well. Firstly, um, before I do, just uh, congratulate uh, Chris and his girls on another magnificent year to make the finals, to make the grand final from uh, lo lower than second is pretty hard to do and they've done it two years in a row and I think that's fantastic and they certainly were worthy today. Um, before I thank a, a few other people, I'd just like to um, recognise a couple more people in our group. Um, I'd like to ask these people to come and join the girls. Uh, Elise Panaluna, who went out with a knee injury. Oh. Also, Andrea Wilson, another part of our group. And also Ebony Antonio, she could join the group as well. And, and to my, co my uh, medical staff, James, Craig, uh, if all you guys go, if you can all join in as well. Um, um, and the last gentleman walking along here, I'd also like to thank. Graham has been with me for 20 years and he's about to retire away from our, from our team, so I'd just like to thank Graham Taylor very much for all his support for a long time. Um, I'd also like to thank all our sponsors, just absolutely fantastic news guys have jumped on board over the, uh, Christy named most of them off, but I just want to thank you all. We can't do this without our sponsors and, uh, and the league sponsors as well. It's just fantastic we have all you people get behind the women's league. You know how the women's sport in this uh, country is downtrodden and we're trying to make it bigger and better and, and we've showcased it here today. How good is this? It's great. Um, thank you to the crowd, absolutely fantastic again today, just magnificent. The support we get is fantastic. And lastly, to my group of fantastic girls, 
Um, just unbelievable again, the way you get behind me and uh, I know I'll give you a few serves every now and again. And, um, you just take it on the chin and then come back even bigger and stronger. And just fantastic from uh, what you guys have done this year. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry it wasn't last. Uh, thank you to all. As I said, um, I want to I want to recognise my daughter Christy for if. If this happens to be our last game, unbelievable. Thank you. watching what you do. Congratulations to both of you and we certainly hope we'll continue to see both of you on the court. I would like to ask you to both come back now to receive the championship trophy and the banner which will be presented by Sam Schechner and Scott Derwin. Ladies, I hope on Thursday you're all free. The Honourable Hugh Delahunty, the Minister for Sport and Recreation, has just let me know that the Bendigo Spirit are invited to Parliament House for lunch on Thursday as a way of congratulating all of you. Two th